Welcome again to another episode of uh, Fish Keep in Jamaica. Welcome to my channel. This is Wally here. Uh, today I'll be talking about uh, fish disease. Today I'll be talking about how do you know that uh, uh, your fish is sick. Uh, so let's go through uh, about five pointers to identify whether or not your fish is sick. Okay, your fish uh, will be sick at times and at times these uh, situations are caused as a result of, well most of the time, these results occur as a result of uh poor water quality but we will not go into uh why your fish is sick and um, we'll, we'll be looking at uh evidence that your fish is sick so let's look at it okay so the first thing um, as evidence that your fish is sick something is wrong with your aquarium fish is that your fish have actually stopped growing one and two where as your fish usually uh produce um, offspring you know fries you know reproduce on a regular basis you realize that that is no more that's like not happening okay another we uh another clue that your fish is sick is the fact that uh when you when when you first got that fish you realize that the fish usually um enjoy the meal in it you actually fed it each day now um since the fish is sick you realize that the fish seems to have lost appetite you realize that whenever you place the feed within the fish um fish tank fish aquarium fish pond whatever you keep your fish in you realize that the feed just sits there at the top of the water or sinks to the bottom of the of the aquarium or pond and it just rot away causing even greater problems as the water now becomes polluted Another evidence that your fish is sick within the aquarium and that some steps need to be taken so as to manage this is that you realize that where your fish usually, you know, be able to outrun uh, its predators. For example, a cat normally comes by the aquarium to sit and look and no matter how the cat try, the, the, the cat will never ever be able to catch that fish. Um, now the, the cat is able to hit the fish or even take the fish out because uh, the fish is just not moving that briskly enough uh, the fish is not swimming as it normally do this is a clear sign that something is wrong with your aquarium fish uh, you know you, I, I've said this several times over and over again and a lot of persons seem I've said this several times over and over again and a lot of persons tend to um, overlook this uh, whenever your fish is healthy uh, drastic water change might cause him to um, be a particular way yes but it won't kill your fish now uh whenever your fish is sick you realize that your fish is vulnerable to drastic change in ph uh water temperature uh you know uh, aquarium water versus pet shop water you realize that there's some you know some some issues there the fish is just not behaving as though it should for example right after a water change you realize that the fish is just start to behave a particular way check out the fish the fish might just be sick with parasite or have some disease that you might not realize until at that point in time and number five um fact which actually guarantees that the fish is sick the fish dies and this of course you know you can't really correct that right the fish actually dies and uh i did a video the other day with regards to um drastic change in water ph um in which you know the, the pH of the, the water actually um, change overnight and you actually saw the results of that now um you have to be mindful that uh, certain things if if it occur if it, it tends to linger for a long period of time it's gonna be irre irreversible so therefore you should take steps so as to manage your aquarium as best as possible so as to preserve the life of that that creature in which you are in charge of managing uh this is riley here for another fish keeping jamaica enjoy your day bless up one love